Omar Lusk here with RFSportsRadio.com to cover the Dallas Stars taking on the Philadelphia Flyers in the home game. The Stars are 2-1-1 one and, one, and the Flyers right now are 0-2-2 on the season. Let's see if the Stars can keep things rolling as the Philadelphia Flyers keep tumbling down this division. RFSportsRadio.com. American Airlines Center. The Stars have just dropped a tight one, 6-5 to the Philadelphia Flyers in the fourth period overtime. Let's go to the locker room and get some quick words from the coaches and the Stars players here on rfsportsradio.com. We'll get you an update on Monday, but he's, he's going to be out for a good period of time. How hard was it then to get the rotation and to have anything to do with thing? You know, you can get that a little bit. We played stupid hockey. Lack of focus and play like that, you deserve to lose. You know, at the time, it felt like a, a big goal, but uh, you know, it's tough to lose that game. How tough is it to pl play in overtime like that, where the whole time it's shorthanded? Well, our killers do a great job uh, on the first kill, and you know, Dales has to take that penalty. It's, it's an open net. If not, it's just an unlucky bounce. But you know, we lose that game by not protecting the two-goal lead. I think you know we have to get better. And, those are, if you want to be an elite team in this league, you know, you have two goal lead in third. We have to learn to, to lock those down. Coming back from a court playing, coming to the pros. Well, I think they just said, be patient with the puck and just trust myself. And, you know, it's a bit different game up here in the NHL than um, in the American League. I, 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 I thought I adjusted or started to figure out near the second half of the game there. Um, but, yeah, it's a little different, but I think there's definitely things that – I know now that I can go back and work on it. So good though from the standpoint the guys it's a good character when coming from behind like that and down two goals after the second. Yeah, it's a good character when um, team battle back, you know from deficits in the game. Um, learn the hard way. Does that have a lot of these slumps in Dan you have a couple of ugly goals you know, something what, what did you say? Is that how a lot of these things seem to you know, need a dirty goal or an ugly goal or some kind of comeback just to give the team confidence? And well, a win, well, a win gives a team confidence okay. for sure. Um, okay. you know, it doesn't matter how you win it. I think that uh, you know, a win gives a team confidence. We, we played, we, we did a lot of good things out there tonight. Um, you know, <laughs> had a real good attack, shot the puck, a lot of, a lot of opportunities. But we got to clean up some of the mistakes we make. And, or, um, they're unacceptable. Some of your guys thought that the second too many men on this penalty wasn't warranted. It's not a penalty. I don't, but that's it. I don't want to talk about it.